I came afterwards, who was the much older, sort of school marmish, bossed him around. But Martha was the one, for me, who had the guts and the, and the tenacity and was, of all the modern Doctor Who companions, the one, I suppose, to use a horrible cliche about women's lib, but she was a strong woman. She, she, she didn't take shit from anyone. And I just wondered, was that something that appealed to you or was that something that grew as the series went on? Um, it did really appeal to me because I think you saw it the most in, in um, you saw her being that super kind of independent trainee doctor in episode one. And then, you know, as time goes on and they become more close, she, she, she became, well, they became codependent really in a way the relationship kept shifting. It would be parent-child or carer and, you know, carey and then, I don't know, it, it, your teacher, student, it, it shifted, and especially around about the middle with human nature and all that, where you've got Martha actually looking after the doctor. Um, it, there was a real shift in their dynamic, I think. So I did like that she was really strong and independent, and I remember when we shot the final scene where I have to leave the TARDIS. I, did, I was doing the takes, and I was in floods of tears. And the director came over and said, I've just had a word from Russell, no tears, no tears. Is that there's not to be any, you know, that it's not a sad sort of thing. She's independent and she wants to go and live her, her own life. And so we played the scene differently. We played it a few ways. And in the end, um, she, you know, she's got to be doing it positively. And, and I like that about her. She had a great, a great farewell to the series, but we're jumping.